Hi guys, Matt V's Movies back for another video and today is a Matt's Movie Review and the film I'm going to be reviewing today is a film not watched before um, found this on um, streaming site Freevee um, which I believe you can find on sort of um, most um, streaming devices uh, it's a free site, you don't have a subscription to it it does state there are uh, adverts but I've didn't have any adverts in the film I was watching so um, so yeah um, the film is called Approaching the Unknown so we're going to talk a bit about the film today um, give you some facts and uh, trivia and then my thoughts um, on this film today on the channel Mars is just a tiny dot in the sky 40 million miles away Requesting permission to kick off my shoes for the rest of the ride. Roger, Captain, you have permission. Approaching the Unknown came out in 2016. And in the UK it was a certificate of 15. It's a sci-fi stroke thriller genre. And it ran for one hour and 30 minutes. In an effort to take the first steps towards colonising Mars... Captain William Staniforth accepts a one-way solo mission to the planet. On his journey, a mountain of challenges makes him look within. The release date in the US was the 3rd of June 2016, and this was directed by Mark Elijah Rosenberg. The box office took $10,232, the executive producers were Eddie Vassam, Ross Jacobson, Richard Lowran, Sheldon Rabinitz and John Hickson. The budget was 1.3 million US dollars. Cast included Mark Strong as William D. Staniforth, Luke Wilson as Louis Skinny, Sana Latham as Emily Maddox, Anders Danielson Lie as Green Street, Charles Baker as Wolsey. So on to some trivia about the film. Worsley, played by Charles Baker, and Green Street, played by Anders Danielson Lie, the crew of the refuelling station, are both named after members of the crew of Ernest Shackleton's ill-fated Antarctic expedition of 1914-1917, where, where they were the captain and the first officer respectively, as they are in this film. While shooting within the primary vessel, Mark Strong, through direct account, as well as confirmed by the sound department, was singularly the conduit for microwave auditory effect, an occurrence which is only first documented among stray personnel working 
within the vicinity of transponders during World War II. And this was the writing and directing debut of Mark Elijah Rosenberg. Okay, so yeah, on to my kind of review and thoughts of this film. Okay, so approaching the unknown, I've not heard or seen of this film at all. I was just scrolling through looking for a film to watch and I came across this. Um, the title role being played by Mark Strong. Um, you'll have seen him in lots of different films. Um, he was in the um, Green Lantern film. He played kind of like the nemesis of Green Lantern, I suppose, in that. Um, and he's been in a lot of roles um, over the years. And a very you know, well-accomplished actor. And I have to say, he was a very strong performance in this. Um, it's very much, as I say, it's the sort of story of, um, of a, um, a guy who wants to go to Mars, be the first man to go to Mars. And um, he's come up with a way of creating water from dust. Um, he's got this special type of machine that extracts hydrogen and oxygen from the dust to create water. And um, he's done all these experiments in the desert. Very much sort of... Um, you know, on the cutting edge of sort of scientific um, development of, of creating water out of nothing. <clears throat> so he, yeah, he launches, they launch the space, uh, the shuttle, um, spacecraft, whatever, into space. And um, it's very much, um, I think it's based on kind of, um, you know, real science because the, um, spaceship is like a gyroscope so you've got the main capsule with a like a, a sort of antennae coming out the side that spins round and you'll have seen that on films like interstellar um this kind of film um you know sort of based on um scientific fact and captain uh, william staniforth he um he pretty much you know going on a solo mission it's a one-way ticket he knows this he's very much prepared for it um the film is very much sort of centered on on him as, as the, the main character in the film you do see a few couple of other people um there's one guy um you see uh, via video link that's sort of um back at nasa and this film is very much about his sort of dealing with the mental side of things, um, his journey to Mars, um, and a lot of stuff that's going on in his mind and how he deals with the isolation, um, his memories of how he's created this machine, as I said, that turns the dust into water. Um, and I don't want to give spoilers away, but it's very much his kind of sort of experience um on how he gets well his journey to mars shall we say um now i'm not going to tell you whether he gets to mars or not you'll have to watch the film to find out but it's certainly a journey um an exploration of his own mind shall we say um i would say this is a combination of three films for me um I would say you've got a bit of Castaway in there. You've certainly got Interstellar in there. Um, there's some pretty amazing effects in this. Um, considering such a low budget, uh, I think they've done fantastically well with the effects that you see. Um, very, very well done. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like it made hardly any profit at all. Um, which is a shame. Um, it's probably... Not necessarily a mainstream film, but um, it kept me engaged. Uh, I found it interesting. I thought Mark Strong's performance was fantastic. Um, he really um, gave such a strong performance. 
Um, you really kind of connected with him within the film. Um, I didn't feel bored by the film. Uh, I kept engaged, uh, interested, curious. All these sorts of, um, yeah, thoughts. And, um, yeah, I found it an entertaining film. Um, one of those sort of films that you may not have heard of, you may not know about. Um, and I would highly recommend it. Um, certainly, um, I don't know whether it's available to buy physical, you know, physical, uh, Blu-ray or DVD, but certainly check it out on FreeV. Um, that's within the UK, I'm sure in America or other territories, European territories, you know, it'd be on other streaming sites. But yeah, I'd highly recommend this film. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, it's, yeah, it's definitely a science fiction. Uh, it's not, it's a little bit of sort of tension in it, I suppose. Not really any action, but it's more of a, a thinking man's film. But yeah, I would highly um, recommend Approaching the Unknown. If you're new to the channel, uh, welcome. Thanks for watching the video. Do appreciate it. Um, please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you'll be informed when I upload uh, a video like this. Um, I do occasional reviews. So, um, yeah, and I do a wealth of content. So please check out my playlist. Um, welcome back to existing subscribers. Hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. Um, please give the video a thumbs up. That really does help out the channel and it tells YouTube that you like these sorts of videos and that encourages me to create new content for you to enjoy. Please leave a comment down below. Have you seen this film? Um, what did you think of it? Um, yeah, I'd be interested to hear your thoughts. Um, or have I kind of inspired you to go and check out the film? Yeah, um, you know, please go and watch the film. Come back and give me your thoughts on this. So yeah, stick down in the comments below. Um, always appreciated. And try to read all comments and um, I'll try to reply as and when I can. You can also find me on Instagram over there and I post pictures from time to time. So yeah, and follow me over there if you don't already. Right guys, well that's the end of the video. Um, I say there'll be another review at some point. Um, I don't do this as a regular thing. It's just when I feel inspired, you know, when I've seen something, I thought, mm, yeah, I, I, I quite like that or I didn't like that. Um, I'll give you my thoughts on a Matt's movie review. So yeah, keep keep your eyes open for further reviews in the future. Thanks for watching the video guys. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye now.